Okay, YouTubers. Today we've got a Smith & Wesson Model 22A and more of this headlight. Hopefully it help both you and I see what's going on. I've got a scope on this, but uh, it is really not going to come into uh, any issues as far as uh, breaking the gun down. So you can see I've already got the magazine out. Uh, lock the slide back and see that it is a safe and empty weapon. And that's how we start the breakdown. The slide has to be in the back position. This button up here is your breakdown button, pretty much. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it on this button. Some of them be a little tricky. Uh, I'm going to push down the barrel to help take some of the pressure off of this. Hopefully you can see. There we go. And, and it should. There it goes. Release up. It's got a little hook on the back. There we go. I'll show you that. You can see it's just got a little, little hook right here. And it hooks right in here. So the only issue now is that there's really nothing holding this back slide in uh, and it's under spring tension. So what we need to do is we got to put some some weight on it because if you don't it, it could pop up and go flying across the room. So I'm going to go ahead and put some weight down on it, pull back a little bit so I can hit my lever release and let it come up slowly and out it comes and here's our spring and the famous little tab uh, we bought this gun new you should Smith & Wesson usually uh, includes several of these that you replace after so many rounds but uh, basically this is it. This is all you'll really need to do to tear down and to uh, clean this gun properly. So it's an easy takedown. Now let's go ahead and get it put back together. I'm going to go ahead and put the slide back in place. And we're going to insert the spring. And just in case your little buffer fell off, it's got a slight curve to it and that curve should point towards the front of the gun, towards the spring. So you got spring and you see this has got a little curve to it and that means it goes to the front. And like I said it uh, you know it'll pop off pretty easily. So you know this little curve it goes towards the spring, pop that back on. Alright, go back here. Uh, I just go ahead and put this back into the channel, the spring channel right here. And then the tab is going to slide right in front of that little steel lever right there. And down it goes. Hopefully you can see that it's all the way down. Now what we got to do is get this back into the back position. And remember, you've got to push down on this thing because it's going to be under spring tension. And if you don't push down, it could take off on you. So, we're slide her on all the way back to the locked position. All right. And it's kind of a almost a bomb in waiting. It's not really that bad, but if you hit it, it is under a lot of spring pressure and it will take off. So the next thing we're going to do to put the barrel back on is we're going to hook this back little tang hook device back on this spot here. Alright, and then I'm going to push in the button and there we go, push down on it so i got a good positive lock. Go ahead and move my magazine or my 
everything's working the way it should and uh, that's it it's a pretty simple gun to break down uh, had a little issue when I first purchased this gun I had to send it back in to Smith & Wesson uh, they got it straightened out and it's been a pretty good gun so especially for the money it's uh, pretty hard to beat so hopefully that will help you if you have any questions or issues breaking down the 22A and putting them back together. Thank you.